NASA is telling people to get outside tonight. You know why? It's because you'll be able to see this. The planet Mars, there, there we go, in the night sky. The red planet will be making its closest approach to Earth since 2003. And you can see this without any high-tech equipment. Let's bring in Nicole Mortolero. And Nicole, it's very cool. I love this stuff. Um, so tell us how close it's going to be. It's pretty far. It is, exactly. <laughs> I was going to say, so it's, it's 57 million kilometers away, which sounds... Relative. Yes, exactly. So it sounds like it's, it's far away, and it is, but you have to think that it can get as far as 400 million kilometers yeah. away, and it's an average of 225 million kilometers away. So this is pretty close. And it's closest uh, since it was, uh, well, the last close approach, which was uh, two, 2003. Actually, I shouldn't say it's the last close, but the last closest approach right. was 2003 when it was 55 million kilometers away. So it's it, it, when you look up in the sky, it's a difference. Not drivable distance, but no, not exactly, <laughs> but close. Uh, why is it happening? So basically, a few reasons. Um, Earth and Mars um, have elliptical orbits, so they're not quite circular, um, and they orbit the Sun at different speeds. So what ends up happening is there's kind of a catch-up game, right? Wow. So every so often, as we see in this graphic here, we, we, you, you're orbiting, there's a catch-up, see, and then eventually we become, you know, the closest point. So when you're in an elliptical orbit, at one point you're the furthest away, and at another, other times you're the closest. I get it now. See? Yeah, <laughs> thank you for that. And the timing couldn't be better, too, because there was a dust storm, is that right, on Mars, which yes. would have made it harder to see. Well, there is was that a, right? There was a dis the, we couldn't figure out if it was going to actually dim it or make it brighter, right. but, um, yeah, there's this massive dust storm on Mars, and, and you see these images here. Usually you can see um, really dark features on the planet, but you can't see as much now. But it is settling. At one point, you couldn't see any dark features, anything at all. This was a global dust storm. It started off as a few small ones and then became this massive thing. Started May 30th, and now NASA said the dust is starting to settle as opposed to being brought up into the air. So, everybody, yeah, exactly. So, everybody sitting at home is going, how do I see this rare event? Well, luckily, you just walk outside. Go outside. Love it. You don't need glasses nope. like a solar eclipse. Nope. No, exactly. So you just walk outside around 10 o'clock I, I, around the country, trying to pick a, a, a uniform time that everybody can see it, local time. Um, you can see Mars rising in the east. But the later in the night, the better. It gets higher up in the sky. Just look east, southeast, and you will see it. And you will be able to tell the difference because of, it looks like a red star, but a really, really bright red star. You'll and be able to distinguish it from absolutely. everything else? Absolutely, yeah. You, you can see it. Um, it's, pretty, it's a pretty big difference. Whereas normally when it's not as close, you'd be, oh, is that a little dim red star? But this you can really tell. For a science and tech reporter, mm -hmm. How big of a deal is this for you? And it's how exciting? exciting? It's exciting because, you know, I mean, I have a telescope and I'm going to, you know, take a look at it maybe tonight. I'm not sure, depending on the clouds. Um, but it's, it's, it's just amazing to be able to see the planets in motion and be able to take a look at this planet that we've been thinking about for generations, about visiting, and maybe we will soon. And how long does this last? So people well, can see it tonight? Yes, you can see it. Um, it it'll be closest to best viewing until like the end of August, but it will still be visible all throughout, like until the end of the year. It would just get dimmer, that's all. But you can see it. And don't forget the other planets. You have Saturn and Jupiter up there too.